This video will demonstrate how to change and standardize information in the vital information section of the person page on Family Search. This woman, born in 1790, has several problems. You'll notice if I click on her ordinance section, at the bottom, the ceiling to spouse can't be performed because her name contains invalid characters. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to details, click on her name, click edit, and remove the parentheses around Polly. Probably one of those two names was um, given as a nickname, but we don't know which one, and I haven't been able to find out. So I'm going to type in here, I removed the parentheses, and then click Save. You'll notice now, when I come up here, that has been changed so that I can request the ceiling to spouse by that minor change in fixing her name. Now the birth dates and places and the death dates and places also need to be corrected. Whenever you're wanting to change one of those, you will just simply click on the blue date or place and then click edit. You'll then go to the back of the date or place that you want to change. I don't need to change this 1790. I don't have any additional information and it's formatted correctly. So I'm going to change the Virginia because I want United States to be there. What you do is you come and you click at the end of what you have typed and you put in a space. The computer will then offer you Orange, Virginia, United States, which is the correct formatting. You click on that, it changes it here, and the computer has a green bar that says, I am reading it in that same way. You simply, in the reason box, type in standardized, and then click saved. We'll do that quickly with the death date. I click it, I click edit. Now I need to change the date here because I don't want it to say June in all capitals and without the E. So I click behind the 1881, I put in a space. The computer offers me the correct formatting, 18 June 1881. I click on it, it changes. I come down to the place, I click behind the S, put in the space, the computer offers me Edgar, Illinois, United States, I click it, everything's right now, and I type in standardized, and I click save. I would do that real quickly to the burial information as well, the exact same circumstance. I could go ahead and type in 1881, because I know that he was buried in 1881, I don't know the exact date. I would click at the end of Illinois, put in my space, it gives me Edgar. I come up and click it and then I type in standardized and then save it. Now I have changed all of the vital information so that it's correctly formatted. The one other place you want to check is the marriage date. It's a little more awkward just so that you'll know how to do it. You would click the little pencil to the right a new box opens up and the third box down has the marriage information. It's formatted correctly so I don't need to change it, but you would click there and click edit and go through the same process if you were going to make changes. That's how you standardize information on the person page in FamilySearch.